Volume shadow copies are a great way to find historical information within hard drives. These are snapshots or revisions in time that you can create easily on a PC. Often they're created without people even realizing it. It's actually wise for IT admins to set up volume shadow copies because think about it. If your forensic workstation goes down or your workplace computer goes down, you expect to be able to revert back instantaneously and continue with your daily actions. A lot of people don't think about this. When they go through and do mass deletions of files or maybe malware hits a system, they don't think about how it looked like historically. So if you do, let's say you go through and you want to delete a whole bunch of files, are you actually going to take the time to revert back to all of your system snapshots and delete the files from there? This is where criminals get sloppy, and this is where it helps us in our investigations. In Blacklight, what you can do on the left-hand side, under Evidence, you're going to see that I have six volume shadow copies here. These are from different points and times. You can simply uncheck the ones you don't want to look at, or you can check them. As you hover above each volume shadow copy, you will actually see the date time on when it's relevant. So we can see here, this one is from 10-31-2019. Depending on your investigation, you may want to include only time periods of interest and then expand, or you may want to include everything and then use file filters. Under file filters, I have all selected, and I'm going down to snapshot VSC for the volume shadow copies. When I click all files, it will show me everything that's in those volume shadow copies. But I have options here. I can say only files that have changed within a snapshot, only files that exist in more than one snapshot. Now this could be good in two different ways. If you have an executable that landed on a system and you're working an incident response case and you want to know how long it's been there, look back in the volume shadow copies. If you want to know how long ago someone deleted a file, this is a great place to go to because it's going to show you which ones it's unique in. Also, the final one that I commonly use, only files that are unique to the active partition or to a snapshot. So if you only want to see things that are 100% unique and not duplicates across six or seven images, this is the item you want to select. Once you do this, the filtering is up to you. You can filter by file name, type, metadata. I recommend watching the Ask the Expert segment on filtering so you become more knowledgeable on what conditions mean and what groups mean. Volume shadow copies, super important to most Windows forensic investigation. Make sure you do not overlook them. Make sure you know how Blacklight searches them. That way you can leverage them and dig deep in your investigations.